What? How on earth could no she... No time for that! Go get him! Ow. I'm out? Oh, who cares about Deneb? Do you think Iverson gave a shit when she offed all our guys? Huh? Wait, Iverson, are you talking about the party? It... It wasn't us. And now she's awake. Great. Why do you mean it wasn't you? Don't fall for her act. She came here to destroy us. Don't forget it. What are they talking about? I'm not here to... We thought you were behind the attack. We... Just can it. You can stop the little dance routine already. It's not gonna work on us. So spit it out. Why did your bitch of a prince betray us? She didn't. This is so backwards. You're gonna pay for her treachery. You get that? None of you are going to get away with this. That's enough. But Deneb... I said enough. Miss Lewis, I presume. Osborne. At last. Well, you certainly are resourceful. Few people are able to escape from memory traps without assistance. Though I doubt you were able to escape with your memory unscathed. What are you trying to tell me? I do hope for your sake that you have recovered all of your memories. Otherwise, they're gone. The process is more or less irreversible. You've got to be joking. I'm afraid not. Let's put the matter behind us. Now that you're here, and conscious, we'll be able to talk. Why did you lock me up? You represented a threat. A threat? I just wanted to talk to you. And why, pray tell? To explain the reasons for your prince's betrayal? The prince is... on edge. She thought you might have been behind the attack. But, seeing your reaction, I'm guessing you're not. Hmm. You're putting me in a somewhat awkward position. I would like to take you at your word, but that would mean putting what's left of my men in danger. If you're telling the truth, you're going to have to prove it. Honestly, if I wanted to finish the job, do you seriously think I would have come all by myself? If you thought there was nobody to find, yes. What a stroke of luck that would have been. All our secrets would have been ripe for the taking. All our work in thaumaturgy. Our archives. And I would have been able to do jack shit with it. I'm no blood witch. You wouldn't have to, but there are a few Tremere among you, if I'm not mistaken. You have to believe me, we're not responsible for the attack at the party. The Prince will be relieved to know that you're all safe and sound. If only that much were true. Many of our brethren were in attendance at that accursed reception. The Prince has sent someone there to find out what happened. It was a dangerous decision. But it was the only way to get to the bottom of this. And in the same breath, she sent me here to see if you were safe. Very well, my dear. I would like to believe that you are not here to... finish the job, as they say. However, the idea that your prince sent you to... help us? Iverson may be many things, but she is most certainly not sentimental. You're right. That isn't the only reason I was sent. Just why are you here, then? For our alliance. I know these times are tough, but the Prince wants to make sure our agreement still stands. What agreement? What do you mean, what agreement? The union you were supposed to celebrate at the party. Be more specific. What were the particulars?
With all due respect, Mr. Osborne, I'm a little too old for pop quizzes. We both know the broad terms of the Alliance. I wouldn't be here if that wasn't the case. Can we just get down to business? What attitude? Hmm, fine. You're right, we've wasted enough time already. Let the negotiations begin. What negotiations? Look around you. This room used to be teeming with devoted kindred. We lost three quarters of our people. Hartford has taken serious risks. In all regards, risks that are not on par with your prince's commitments. We demand compensation. I see. You seem to know the terms of the Alliance like the back of your hand. You're more than qualified to participate in these negotiations. With all due respect, I don't think... Enough small talk. What is your prince willing to give us to salvage this alliance and right the wrongs that she's caused us? What if the prince gave you a slice of her city? That would depend on the neighborhood. Hey ma'am, girl, where are you going with this? Whichever one you want. Downtown? Within reason. Hmm. All right. How about Charlestown? Why not? Very well. We have a deal. I'll contact our headquarters in Hartford to iron out the details. Fantastic. Hazel's gonna kill me. Well then, it looks like we have ourselves an agreement. Hartford will remain under Boston's umbrella. For now. Iverson will still have to answer for the party. What happened was unacceptable. I will not turn a blind eye. I understand. That being said, I applaud your demeanor. The situation wasn't exactly to your advantage. Thank you, sir. Very well. I'll contact your prince in the next few days. I think we're done here. Unless there's anything else you wanted to talk to me about. I would like to ask you a few questions. If you have a minute, of course. Of course. You have any rivals in the blood business? Yes, there are a few. Malkavian Spawn in particular. They had the market cornered for a good amount of time. Especially in Gwyndon King's day. Even though I don't approve of their methods, I must admit that they excel in their art. There are few capable of producing blood so pure. Seems like your business has been turning for quite some time. Am I right? Indeed, you're not mistaken. Warlocks have always had a special talent for getting the most out of blood. Call it our trademark. There's always been trafficking, but what your prince is proposing goes much further. Combining Dr. Dunham's expertise with the skills of the Tremere clan, the result would be... Enormous. Precisely. I bumped into a few people during my... Detention. Humans. Yes. Who are they? What are they doing here? They're the forgotten, the invisible. People who live on the streets. Junkies. Squatters. They wander in here by choice or ill fortune. Well, we do need blood, like everyone else. You mentioned my memory fragments earlier. Yes. You led me to believe that the loss of them was... permanent? Not necessarily. Memory impairment is a side effect of the dimension. 
how permanent the condition is varies from one person to the next. That's the kind of thing I wish I'd known going into this. I can only imagine. But as I told you, you may not have anything to worry about. With any luck, it should all come back to you in time. At least if it comforts you, I truly hope so. Am I the only victim to suffer the effects of your magic? No, far from it. Anyone who enters the prison is affected. Including you? Of course. But we have rituals to counteract its effects. I don't get it. Why do you target memories? You could have just built a bunch of high security cells. Believe me, all cells can be breached, even the strongest ones. But if you rob prisoners of their memories, they lose their very desire to escape. In theory. In theory. No, I'm good. Very well. You'd best be running along back to your prince. I'm sure she's eager to hear your report. That she certainly is. Very well, Miss Lewis. Mr. Moses. Uh, would you please escort M.M. out? It would be a shame if she were to get lost again. As for the rest of you, it seems we need to start packing our things. Next stop, Charlestown. You. You're gonna start by dialing it down. You can't talk to me. I like could care you. less. It's not you I've come to talk to. You gotta be kidding me. Where's your boss? Here. Miss Lewis. Osborne, I love Well, you blew up. What? Why did... And just how am I supposed to go about proving something we didn't do? The situation is far too dire. You shouldn't make... I know what a great what are you at the bar? I won't lie to you. I have no idea. Is that so? I'm sorry. I'm just the messenger. Precisely. You should ask yourself what that implies. What was your prince expecting? That I would negotiate with an amateur? I don't think she thought there was still anything to negotiate. She sent me to confirm our alliance, not renegotiate the terms. Then she has made a mistake. Look around you. This room used to be teeming with devoted kindred. We lost three quarters of our people. Hartford has taken serious risks. In all regards, risks that are not on par with your prince's commitments. We demand you. If you want enough small. I could get you a place on the Primogen Council. No, no. Say no more. I appreciate your gesture, but I already have a seat on the Primogen Council. What? You heard me right. Iverson already promised me a place in the Primogen. It would appear that your prince has a rather generous hand in her distribution of seats. Finally, something we can agree on. I've heard enough. There's no point in wasting any more time. If Iverson has no intention of reconsidering our agreement, we might as well cut this conversation short. We refuse to discuss any plans for an alliance until we have received reparations. Mr. Osborne, please. The Boston court is in shambles. 
If you would just wait a few days, the prince could... I'm done waiting for anything. I gave you a chance to right your prince's wrongs. You wasted it. Now it's too late. We're leaving, and so should you. Deneb, please. You can't just walk away. Yes, I can. If you look closely, you'll see that I'm already doing it. Now go. Go back to your prince. Present our terms. And make it clear that we will be opposed to unification until she reconsiders our arrangement. This conversation is over. Mr. Moses, please help Miss Lewis find her way out. Yes. I can't stop thinking about the Chantry. I can't believe those cowards abandoned us. On the bright side, at least now they've shown their true colors. You now know they're not trustworthy. If you're in a mood to blabber idiocies, I suggest you remain silent. Ugh, that's enough brooding. That's not why I brought you here. <laughs>